Now that GT7's 1.17, of course, June update is in the game, we have three new vehicles, a new circuit in the form of Watkins Glen with two circuit layouts, a couple of racing events, of course a circuit experience as well, and some smaller features and fixes which have been put into the game. We have horns now in the game, which I personally haven't tried out yet. We have bug fixes, of course there are still issues, but a number of fixes across the board, many of which don't even get listed in the patch notes. And one thing which I certainly wasn't expecting, but it's great to see come back, a 360 degree camera, which of course you can swing around the car in chase cam and look at your vehicle. It's great for people like me, and I know many of you who like to look at the car while you're driving and admire it, or even just sometimes get a better view through a corner or at the cars around you, wherein we've been pretty much blind to the left and right prior to this. But this is a returning feature, technically, as some of you will remember from the beta days of GT Sport, that was already featured way back on the channel when I covered the beta, and then it was taken out for whatever reason. So it's great to see it back. I will say personally, I'm not completely a fan of it for one simple reason, and that is that it's very sluggish. Now there may be some kind of options menu setting that I missed in terms of making it a little bit quicker, but in particular when you let go of the camera and it kind of snaps back to that chase cam position, it's quite slow. So if you're looking around the car during an event, for example, it takes more than a little bit of time for it to return back to that position, and even though it doesn't seem like that long, if you're in a race, or going into a corner, or have a car that's very close to you, trust me, it takes longer than you think. But, in terms of the vehicles, we only have access to one car on day one, because the other two, the Ford and, unfortunately, the Escudo, are coming out tomorrow within the game. We have the Group 3 category Suzuki, which is available already, 450,000 credits, it's a pretty great little car, in fact, I could see it being quite OP, so balance of performance will doubtless be quite harsh on this car. It's heavier than you might think, over 1200 kilos, but the power is good. Still, I believe, has that Hayabusa power unit, which is very cool in an actual racing category. And it's kind of cool to see Suzuki getting a bit more love in the game, because clearly their cars are pretty damn good. The Swift, in particular, in Group 4. In terms of what the other two cars are like, of course we'll have to see tomorrow. I'm actually going to Goodwood tomorrow, so I won't be able to cover those cars you know, in the morning or anything, but I'm hoping to cover the Escudo when I get back home later on in the day, and then the next day probably the Ford. So those remain to be seen. We still don't know the prices on those yet as of today as far as I'm aware. And ultimately, I think it's a nice little update. Watkins Glen is a cool little circuit. It has been featured in a number of other games in the past. There are, as I said, a couple of career mode races to kind of get into the vibe of the circuit if you are new to it. And it's it's a circuit that doesn't necessarily have quite as much personality as some. It's a fairly simple layout, in other words, but it's certainly a very storied track. It has a lot of history behind it. And as I said in previous videos, it was featured in NASCAR, IndyCar, Formula One, so it's pretty important in the world stage. And it's cool to have a track that's never been featured in any of the series before. So, in an overarching sense, we can't get into the other two cars yet. So, overall, there's not really too much point in dragging out the video for longer than it needs to be. But, overall, that's it for my brief thoughts on this new update. Of course, give me yours down below. Are you looking forward to... Well, I mean, of course you are, but are you looking forward to driving the Escudo tomorrow? Maybe even the Ford as well, I certainly am. And what do you think of Watkins Glen? And for those who haven't experienced it before, maybe you haven't played Forza or other games which have it, what do you think of the 360 degree camera and the horns? But stick around tomorrow, of course, for more. And until next time, I'll see you then. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.